Hey everybody. Got a new improvement for the sawmill. Got a Duramax seven horse motor with electric start. Just got it hooked up. Put the new put the battery in there. I zip tied it. Had to put a block in here for the battery to sit on because there's still a bar underneath there. There's still some. It was easy. Got the new blade mounted. It still fits right through here. The battery's solid enough that it's not going to move. So it won't interfere with the blade. The Duramax motor. I have a 16 horse on my log splitter that I've been running for about three years now, four years. And it's been a great motor. So I decided to go with another one of these and give it a shot but this best part is it has electric start so let's get some covers on this thing let's see if the cover's gonna fit will it fit yep it's right on there first time i've had them on since put the new motor on it was a it was a perfect fit on there didn't have to didn't have to change or alter anything I used the same clutch that was on the original motor I did put wing nuts on the uh, to mount the guards replace the bolts with wing nuts so just figure you don't have to use any wrenches or anything to do that so you'll take off there all right Got her hooked up. Let's see. That fuel's on. There's a choke. Remember a little gas. Normally on these you turn it to on, but the first click is the on button for the ignition. Let's get it a look at that. Get a Phillips screwdriver. Oh, wait a minute, might be one out here. Yeah, I got one out here. There go. Adjust the max speed on this a little bit more. Just to where it's set, just before the governor kicks in.
So let's go over the the uh, improvements or changes that I've made to this sawmill. Again, I added an extra bar on here. I normally just had this. This cross member was right in here. I just added an extra piece of tubing on there and then moved the cross member out. That just stiffened it up so when it's it's uh, cutting in a heavy log it, in a larger log it doesn't it doesn't vibrate back and forth. I changed the rollers to the outside. They were these rollers were on the inside and I moved them to the outside. I made a new track of course and widened it. it gives it more stability that way. I also changed this guide. Normally it was in and I changed it. I turned it around so it's it comes out so it doesn't it doesn't uh, affect the the cut width. So actually I got about another inch, inch and a half of cut width out of the between the guides. Now the other things that I've done to raise and lower it I added a different worm drive system here. Normally it, it had a crank that uh, it was okay but with this I just with the worm drive I added the gear or the uh, one of my old DeWalt drills to it and now I can go up and down with the drill I don't have to. So now I'm automated up and down got electric start new motor Now all I got to do is get some more logs here and get some more lumber cut. The, uh, oh, and something else. People always ask about the, uh, the blade lube. And, uh, I use a little bit of Dawn dish soap. And in the wintertime, I add about a fourth a quarter of the volume of this uh, extreme blue windshield washer because it's it you know it protects for your uh, your wipers on your vehicle and it's like two dollars at I believe is at Walmart or something like that it's inexpensive and it works great it keeps a pitch off of your off your blade so between that and the Dawn dish soap it keeps it keeps it uh, keeps your blade clean keeps the pitch down never had any problems if I'm running wet logs or newer newly cut stuff I don't even bother with the, the blade lube for the most part unless I get into something that has a lot of pitch but I'll use the blade lube if I'm running on dry, dry timber, old stuff that's been around for a while. But mainly all I cut is pine, fir, spruce, and cedar. So most, yeah, everything that uh, I don't, very seldom do I ever get any hardwoods or anything. There's nothing, there's no really no hardwoods that grow around here. Except a little bit of alder, but it don't get that big anyway. And I am going to be cutting, I'm going to be cutting a bunch of uh, hemlock, which 
I believe it's classified as a soft wood, but it's uh, it's a bit harder. This is a uh, this is a hemlock log right here. This is a uh, this is for firewood, but I have a bunch of this up on the property, up on the mountain that I'll be cutting down and bringing in. Whenever the weather starts cooperating, it's not too hot. I'll be up there more come the end of September, October. Try to get a few loads of uh, saw logs and firewood brought down. Anyway, so I'm ready to rock and roll as soon as I get some logs to cut already take care everybody